We got another update on the 50 series of graphics cards from NVIDIA. I also wanted to talk about chat with RTX for everybody that has a 30 and 40 series graphics card. We got another update on Medusa, which is Zen 6 CPUs from AMD. We also have another article covering the exact same thing just to prove what is actually said. NVIDIA is going to be accelerating quantum computing, and I find this extremely interesting, so I wanted to share it with you. The latest 12 volt 2 times 6 power connectors can handle 670 watts of GPU power. That is literally all I need to say about this article, so I'm going to close it out right now. And then something pretty cool that I thought was interesting and simply wanted to share with you, and that, my friends, is regarding the PlayStation Portal being hacked, or in other words, the console is actually somewhat worth it. But first up, we're gonna be covering the article I know you all ended up clicking this video for. NVIDIA RTX 50 series may include a controversial GPU feature, unlike AMD. So rumors are suggesting that NVIDIA is mandating a 12 VHPWR port for its upcoming GeForce RTX 50 series GPUs, but AMD is not seeing the need to follow this suit. So as an inevitable, all right, we're not going to go over this because to be fair, that's pretty much the only thing that we need to talk about. I do have a little bit of a confused state of mind. With the, actually, I am going to read this article because it's going to go over what I'm literally about to tell you guys. So, according to this, so the 4090, yes, the cable port combination. So, the 4060 Ti and then the normal 4070, you don't need that end up the, the this cable right here. This is what this is talking about. I don't, I genuinely don't understand why people would complain about it. I personally would prefer this cable connector. Power supplies are already st starting to make it. Yes, it's annoying that the 4060 and the 4070 and the 4060 Ti do not include this whatever adapter. So you have to like make sure you're finding the correct power supply that has that adapter. But forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Yeah, I just thought I would share that with you and see what you guys felt about that. So the next article that I wanted to cover is something that I cannot figure out for the life of me. And like I have this, like if I'm actually going to do this with you right now, because it won't install, like it's going to take a while for me to extract this. It takes a really long time to extract, but I cannot figure out how to get chat with RTX to work on my computer. And I have a 14900K and a 4090 with 128 gigabytes of RAM, dude. It's not that my computer is not capable of using a chat bot, you know what I mean? So either way, you can run your own chat GPT from your computer, and you can also do a bunch of other very, very cool things on your computer that you can't necessarily do with chat GPT. AMD Medusa Zen 6 client CPUs rumored to feature integrated RDNA 5 graphics. And then this is just another article covering the exact same thing. But the reason that I'm going to actually use this because my friends for the first time, like ever, video cards did not include the chart. A different website did. Oh my goodness. And you guys know I'm good with charts. I very, super appreciate this. So we have Zen architecture, Zen 6, Zen 5, Zen 4, Zen 3, Zen 3, or Zen 3 Plus, Zen 2, and then just Zen Plus. So we have the core code names, we have the CCD code name, we have the process node, we got the server, we have high-end desktop, we have mainstream desktop CPUs, mainstream des desktop notebook APU, and then we have the low power mobile. And if we come over here, there's NANA. So dude, I just, I can't wait until we see the point in time where AMD actually has integrated graphics where they're actually able to um, output like 1440p and 4K game because you know it's going to happen very soon. Like, dude, to be honest, like if AMD could actually improve their FSR to not like be terrible, you know, like, and I understand that it's gotten some updates and I understand that it's working fairly well at this point, but there's no denying that, you know, Intel's DLSS or whatever is just it's superior to, to AMD's FSR. Anyways, the point that I was saying that is because AMD, if they could improve their FSR, this would probably run games at like 1440p and 4K. Like, cause I don't know if, whatever. Either way, let's move on to the next one. So I can like not cause more people to hate me. 
<laughs> NVIDIA accelerates quantum computing exploration in Australia's Posse Supercomputing Center. So this is just something cool that I wanted to share with you. Um, I know it's, NVIDIA is really aiming their like, at least from what I'm seeing, they're really aiming their like, this is the type of stuff they're aiming their company at. And as much as I love gaming and as much as I love seeing the performance, um, uh, like the 4090 can do in games and stuff. The, a the all this AI stuff has me very, very, very interested, especially after the Sora video, a the AI video thing that ChatGPT is doing. That's insane, dude. But anyways, just that. So Nvidia today announced Australia's pathway Nvidia quantum platform accelerated by Nvidia Grasshopper Super Chips in its National Supercomputing Quantum Computing Innovation Hub. Researchers at the Perth Bay Center will leverage CUDA Quantum, an open source hybrid quantum computing platform that features powerful simulation tools and capabilities to program hybrid CPU, GPU, and QPU systems, as well as the NVIDIA CU Quantum software development kit for of optimized libraries and tools for accelerating quantum computing workflows. The NVIDIA Grass Grace Hopper Superchip, which combines the NVIDIA Grace CPU and Hopper GPU architectures, provides extreme performance to run high fidelity and scalable quantum simulations on accelerators and seamlessly interface with future quantum hardware infrastructure. And then there's a statement that says, high performance, quote unquote, simulation is essential for researchers to address the biggest challenges in quantum quantum computing. Posi is developing eight NVIDIA Grace Hopper superchip nodes based on NVIDIA MGX module architecture GH200 superchips, eliminate the need for a traditional CPU to GPU PCIe connection by combining an ARM-based NVIDIA Grace CPU with NVIDIA H100 Tensor Core GPU in the same package using NVIDIA NVLink C2C chip interconnectors. Um, but anyways, I love outer space. Like outer space is super, super, super interesting to me. I know I got way off thought, but that's super interesting to me. I genuinely love outer space. Like Starfield, No Man's Sky specifically is one of my favorite games. It's a super fun game. And I can't wait for that uh light the is this same is yes, okay. So light no fire. So I just want to show you guys this really quickly. So so it's just showing you a trailer right now. But it's like this open world, like literally the size of the world. So like, it's going to be impossible to explore everything. But anyways, go check out the videos on, or I can make a video on it too as well. If, if it would be something you guys are interested in. But either way, PlayStation Portal Hacks shown running Grand Theft Auto Liberty City stories through the PSP. I think that this is super cool because the PlayStation Portal is an absolute pointless joke. And the fact that people are able to modify it makes it not a pointless joke because now you can actually use it and it not suck. <laughs> so other than that, bros, it's gonna bring us to the end of the video. Let me know what you got. The quantum, I know I keep talking about AI and like this stuff dude, cause I really am interested in it. I find it super interesting. I like to know, like, dude, it's like, how is it doing all this stuff? I just think it's super cool. I think it's super cool. So like, I know like probably like one, one out of every 10 people that thinks it's cool. Everybody else is freaking out about it. I think it's cool as hell, but uh, yeah. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.